I've done so much, and you know, and I say this, uh, historically black colleges and universities were out of money, they were stone cold broke, and I saved them. That's a lie! That's a lie. Now, this is the one I've been waiting for all night. This is what this is the one I've been waiting for. Donald Trump's a damn lie. He did not save black colleges. He's a lie. I'll tell you who saved black colleges. I'm going to put her up right here. She's responsible. This is what Donald Trump basically did. The money was already put in motion by those in Congress. Black people had already put this money together. They had already generated, most of the money comes from the Department of Education, which under Project 2025, I know they, they claim they shut it down. They wanted to get rid of, uh, under Project 2025, they want to get rid of uh, the Department of Education. But I'm here to tell you that money was already being put together and generated and um, prepared this whole thing about the money for HBCUs. It was already being prepared by black Congress people. All Donald Trump did as an executor, as a president was simply sign documents, but the monies that, he, that, 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 that he came up, he didn't come up with the numbers. He didn't do the math. This was already done. He's trying to take credit for what black people put together, particularly a black woman, this woman right here. <laughs> Who is this woman? Who is this sister? This sister is representative Adams Amos. Amos. This sister is a, is a representative. She's a Democrat. She put this together. This is, and I'm going to put this on the screen right here. This is sister, this is representative Adams, sister Adams. She's the one that Donald Trump has piggybacked off of, right? Like what did I, we know about history, black people invent something and then white people steal the invention. Remember, I, I've said this, you guys know this already. Black people have invented many things where they could not get a patent. And then a white person that can get the patent ends up stealing the idea and getting rich off of it. Donald Trump did the same thing. The black woman and those congressmen involved in this bill, they put the pat, they put it all together. They invented it. And then Donald Trump comes in like many of his, many of his ancestors and steal the invention and try to take credit for something that he didn't put together. This bill is under her damn name. She's the one that made sure that these black colleges are getting the money that they're supposed to get. She's the one that's, that came up with the budget and the analyzation of it all, the processing of it all, understanding what these schools need. Donald Trump just put his face on it and put the, the what did he do? He did the, the photo op and he said, hey, I give, and the Negroes ran with this all over YouTube. Y'all ran with it and you ran back to your YouTube channels. You get on panels. And you keep saying that Donald Trump, Donald Trump, he must not be racist because he gave, it wasn't Donald Trump who put in the work to put this together. It was black people, particularly a black representative, this black woman right here. Huh? Huh? Here's the bill right here. If you want to do the research, look up HR. Donald Trump didn't put this together. Look up HR 5363 Future Act. Representative Adams. Democrat introduced on 1209 2019 committee house education and labor. The latest action 1219 2019 became public law number 11691 all action roll call vote. There has been a roll call. So they had to vote on this. Donald Trump didn't have a damn thing to do with putting together a package to give HBCU schools money. This was put together by this sister right here. Y'all should be giving her credit, not Donald Trump. Not Donald Trump, the black woman. See, what, what I've been saying this and saying this, black people create something and then you get white folks like Donald Trump who comes in and tries to steal the damn invention, right? After winning a special election in November 2014, Congresswoman 
Amos S. Adams, Ph.D. She's she's a Ph.D. She was sworn in immediately after the 100 women elected elected to the 113 113th Congress. Congresswoman Adams was elected to her fifth full term representing the 12th Congressional District of North Carolina, November 8th, 2022. Representative Adams serves on the Committee of Education and Workforce, right? And the Committees on Agriculture. She holds several leadership roles as an assistant whip for Democratic Caucus, ranking member of the committee on education and labor subcommittees on workforce protection. Okay. She has previously served on multiple committees, including the house committee on finances. So she did the damn finances on this. Donald Trump didn't have nothing to do with this shit. He just simply used this as a way to make it look like he was doing something for black folks, something that he never put together a budget that was already put in place for black colleges to get. And then he lied. Y'all run around on YouTube talking about he gave black people more money than Obama, which was not true. If anybody gave them, if anybody was to give them more money, it was this black woman I'm talking about right here who put it together. Donald Trump simply signed and then he used those black presidents of those HBCUs. He used them as a photo op. Her, check this out. She has previously served as a mot as multiple committees, including the House Committee on Finance Services, House Committee on Small Businesses. Her signature legislation accomplishment in Congress is enacting the HR 5363 bill that fosters undergrad talent by unlocking resources for education, future acts, which permanently provides permanently. Y'all think that Donald Trump is the one who made it possible for historical black colleges to have permanent money. It was Sister Adams who put it together. He simply stole the invention. He simply took an idea that a black woman put together as a bill, got it passed. He signed it and then lied to all of you and told you that it was his shit. And y'all brought it. Y'all, 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 y'all got food because y'all think the white man's ice is colder than the black man's ice. Y'all, y'all went for his con game hook, ladder and sinker because he's been a con man from New York for years. He didn't fool me, but he fooled a lot of black folks out here. That's been running at the mouth about how Donald Trump has done so much for black colleges when it wasn't Donald Trump. Why don't y'all give respect to who really put it together? This black woman right here, democratic representative from North Carolina, Mrs. Adams. And it was bill eight. It was HR 5363. Why don't y'all look it up and learn something today? Learn something today. HR 5363 future act. She's the one that came up with it. It's her doing not Donald Trump. He signed it. He did. He, he signed something that was already put in place that the black colleges were going to get whether his ass was in office or not. It would have been signed by another damn president or some, it would have been signed by another person. He just happened to be in office when the shit was already being put in motion prior to him. This is the damn truth. Tell the truth. Why don't y'all learn something? Stop running around talking about Donald Trump and to, and to add more crescendo to it. Let me play a clip from Roland Martin who reinforces what I'm talking about. Say what you will about R Roland Martin. You can hate him or love him, but what he had to say about what I just talked about is a fact. So let's go back into the reaction studio here and let's go right to it right now. Y'all. Check this out. Check this out. The man's been lying. I told you he's a liar. Donald Trump, you can't trust him. He's a liar. And it's funny how I was on a panel not too long ago when I had some fool that debating me about this. And I knew that I knew what the hell I was talking about. Donald Trump didn't create it. It was, <laughs> 
Y'all kept talking about he made it permanent. It was a black woman, Miss Representative, Democrat from North Carolina, Miss Robinson. Y'all see, why don't y'all give black people credit when they do something that's benefiting our people? When all y'all that claim that y'all want to see HBCUs, everybody was praising Donald Trump for giving HBCUs this money when he's not the one who's responsible for it. It's this black woman right here. But y'all go with the man who stole the invention. Because this is the same type of shit that happened to black people back in the day when they would create an invention. And then the white, they couldn't get a patent for it. So the white man would put his name on the patent to help, right? To put the name on the patent so that the, the black man or black woman's invention could be patent. And then eventually the white man would take credit for it and tell you that he created it. Same damn thing that Donald Trump did. And y'all went for it. Hook, hook and sinker. He conned you. He didn't con me, but he conned a lot of y'all on YouTube and social media that's been busting y'all gums for a number of years about Donald Trump did this for black colleges. Y'all are fools. <laughs> and here go some more proof in the pudding to shut your mouths up some more. Some people shouldn't be allowed to have a microphone to say any damn thing on YouTube when they don't do no damn research to back up their points. But I always bring the receipts. Here we go, y'all. Check it out. We, I funded the colleges and black colleges and universities. Nobody else did that. Nobody else even thought of it. And what Once again, that's a lie, a lie, a dirty, dirty lie. What did the Native Americans say about um, the Europeans when they encountered them? They said that the, they said they called them, they said the pale faces speak with fork tongue, fork tongue, fork tongue. Let's go back and let you hear that again. They said that they speak, the pale faces speak with fork tongue. That's what they said, a fork tongue. We, I funded the colleges and black colleges and universities. Nobody else did that. Nobody else even thought of it. And what He just lied. He just lied and said that he funded the black colleges and nobody ever thought of it. What the hell is he talking about? They've been funding black colleges since the 1960s. What the hell is he talking about? This black woman right here is behind Bill H.R. 5363, Future Act. What is he talking about? You see how he lies? This is the, this is the person that y'all want to go to bat for? Y'all want to be passionate? Man. Kimbrough put this tweet out. It's past time for all HBCU supporters to push back on this narrative. HBCUs have received federal funding since 1966. Didn't I tell y'all that they've been getting money since the 60s? Donald Trump sat up there and lied to you. This is the graphic that Walter posted. Boom. So here's a graphic right here that breaks down the monies that they've been getting going all the way back, all the way back to 1960s. This is Title III funding from 1966 through 1997. Y'all, these are the facts. Now, let me explain to y'all what, 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 what you have going on here. The lie that Donald Trump keeps promoting. First, it was, a 250 mil, it was a $250 million program that first happened under President George W. Bush. It was continued That's under President true. Barack Obama. Actually, it expired. They actually reauthorized it. Now, it's a $250 million program. Now, here's what's interesting, folks. Again, people... You hear what he just said? The program originally expired and they reactivated it. They reactivated it. It continued under Obama. And then it had to be reactivated. Check this out. But I don't want to deal with. Um, only about 90 million of that program uh, goes to uh, HBCUs. It is. How many of y'all know that? That. 90 million of that money goes to HBCUs. 
Now, let me put this back up here too. There was something else that I wanted to say about the uh, the sister that I was talking about, about the money that she, let me go back to this. Here we go. It's called the Future Act. Uh, the additional money goes to Hispanic serving institutions, okay? That, that, that's, that's what it is, okay? The Trump folks zeroed the program out in their budget. Boom. So the money that the money is allocated to uh, institutions where you have people of different ethnic groups. So HBCUs get money and then institutions where you have a lot of people that are Hispanic. It could even be a damn an institution that's, that has a certain number of Hispanics in it that will get some money. This is all coming from the education budgeting committees. You just heard Roland Martin say that Donald Trump in his administration were trying to zero the program out, meaning they weren't going to continue it. But you goofy individuals out there that are riding on Donald Trump's penis, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even done any damn research to know what you're talking about. Donald Trump originally wanted to zero the program out. Roland Martin has done the research and say what you will about Roland Martin, old black media, whatever you want to call it on this particular situation. He stands on strong ground of truth. Um, only about 90 million of that program uh, goes to uh, HBCUs. It is called the Future Act. Uh, the addition of money goes to right, Hispanic. Brother, right. Right, brother, all that money in the HBCUs are falling apart. They are still, we, we already know that there's been some stuff that's been going on in some of those, some of the schools that has been questionable. We, we know that. Let's continue. Good point. Good point. Serving institutions. Okay. That, that, that's, that's what it is. Okay. The Trump folks zeroed the program out in their budget. Boom. Did you hear what Roland Martin just said? Originally, Trump in his administration zeroed the program out. This is for the this is for the idiots out there that say to say to say to me, hey, how could Donald Trump be racist when he gave black colleges all that money? How many of y'all know or knew or know that originally Donald Trump wasn't gonna give black colleges shit? Tell the truth. That he was actually planning to zero the program out. Hmm? And how many of y'all know that the money that was allocated, not black colleges don't get all of that hunk of money because some of that money has to go to other uh, schools where you have other people of other races. Now you may not like what I'm saying about that part of it, but this is the truth. So when someone like Donald Trump lies to you and say, I gave black colleges all this, they didn't get all that money. Cause all that money is not allocated to just one group under the budget. Roland Martin just told you what they got. happened under President George W. Bush. It was continued under President Barack Obama. So the money that black colleges got in the increase came from Bush, and then it was continued under Obama, even though some of y'all lied and say, oh, Obama, he didn't give the colleges nothing. No, it was continued under Obama, as he said. Obama. Actually, it expired. They actually reauthorized. Right. It expired under Obama when he came into office and then they reauthorized it. As Roland Martin says, that's a fact. I said, now it's a $250 million program. Now here's what's interesting. $250 million program. And I thought I had a breakdown of this somewhere. I had a breakdown. I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let me see. Maybe I got the numbers right. Let me see. Do I have the numbers right here? 
No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I have the numbers right there? No. Is the numbers on her bio? Is the numbers on her bio? Oh, there it is. Here it is right here. As I was reading, I had already read this. Okay. Under the Futures Act, which is permanently, permanently provides funding totaling $255 million a year for all minority-serving institutions. It's not just black institutions. It's all minority, which is why Roland Martin said out of that 200, he said 250, but it's actually 255 million. Out of that 255 million, that includes 85 million goes to HBCU. Now, personally, I think they deserve more than that. Way more than that. So I just want to clarify something there. Thing, folks, again, people don't want to deal with. Um, only about 90 million of that program says 90 million, uh, goes to uh, HBCUs. It is called the Future Act. Uh, the additional money goes to Hispanic-serving institutions. Okay. So anybody that said that Donald Trump gave black colleges 255 million, they don't they they don't know what they they don't understand how the program works. HBCUs don't. get a full 255 million is for all minority serving institutions that, that that's that's Whether what you it agree is. with it or not okay the trump folks zeroed the program out in their budget meaning they ended it it was congresswoman alma adams congressman bobby alma scott adams and there democrats who said no 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 we putting this back in fought for this is alma adams who i've been talking about She's responsible, not Trump. Give the black woman credit. Don't give it to Trump. Stop saying that Trump. When it went over to the Senate, they filibustered it. Uh, Senator Lamar Alexander of Tennessee. Uh, and then Representative, Al, Representative Adams, Representative Scott and others were pressing them. <clears throat> when the HBCU presidents had their uh, meetings here in D.C., and when he brought them to the White House, remember the whole photo? Thank you, lady. Uh, Nora. Thank you, lady. I see you in there. I'm going to say it again. Give credit where credit is due, everybody. It was not Donald Trump. His administration was trying to zero it out. And then this black woman stepped in and saved the damn day to make it permanent, not Trump. Through her bill that was passed, H.R. 5363, it's called Futures Act. Look it up. To all the black folks that's been talking that Donald Trump took care of black colleges crap, shut the F up. You don't know what you're talking about because you haven't done research. You just going with your emotional feelings because you like Trump. He was about to shut it down. It was a black woman who said, hell no, it's not going to be shut down. And then when it was passed into law, Trump realized that he could use it to make it look like he was doing something for black folks. That's why he, that's when he had the brilliant idea to get all those historical black college presidents together, take that photo op to make you and me think that Donald Trump has saved the black colleges in America and given them permanent money so that they don't have to come back and ask for more every year when we could just make it permanent. No, it was Amar Amana. It was Miss Adams. Miss Adams is the one that made it permanent. Under the HR 5363 fostering undergrad talent by unlocking resources for education future act, which is permanently provides funding totaling $255 million a year for all minority-serving institutions. Damn it. They all standing behind him. And Kelly Ann Conway with her little country ass, uh, you know, shoes off, knees all in, in, the, in, in the Oval Office couch uh, on her phone. They said we need, we need to um, uh, push this particular uh, bill. Then he goes, oh, Oh, a win. Oh, a win. Oh, a win. 
So, uh, oh, yeah, let, 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 me get in, let me get involved in this. And so what he then did was he then tried to claim that he was the one who came up with it. It wouldn't have happened without him. So I to hear what Roland Martin is saying. He speaks the truth. I don't care whether you like Roland Martin or not. It doesn't change the fact that what he is saying is the truth. Yeah, the truth. I don't know what we are to do. Uh, y'all, Anthony, go to my iPad. Y'all see this right here? HR 5363, who the sponsor is right here. Committees, House Education and Labor. Who's the chair of that subcommittee? Congressman Bobby Scott. Y'all, that's what happened. Donald Trump is lying. Tim Scott is lying. And anybody else who's out here talking about, oh, how Trump was a savior to black people. And you notice they never, ever give a number. Donald Trump has done more fun. This is Tim Scott. He's absolutely right. Just like the Opportunity Zones, Donald Trump never gives you raw data to make his argument and to make his points facts based in data. Yeah. Donald Trump funded black colleges more than anybody else. And you never hear Margaret Brennan. You don't even hear Abby Phillips. You don't hear any of these people saying, Senator, can you give me the number? Can you tell me how much HBCUs received in funding under the Trump administration? You never hear them ask that question because they're not well versed on these topics. Well, there's there's a weird sort of agreement, too, of just not wanting to counter. Now, now, when he talks about mainstream media like Abby Phillips, it's true. A lot of these black folks on mainstream media and these shows like CNN, they're not well versed when it comes to being able to talk about what HBCUs are going through or what they're getting in funding. They're not well versed. He, he makes a good point here for these people or have sort of this sort of both sides thing that, that, that it's going on uh, where the media, instead of protecting the truth, lets these people say this stuff over and over again. Because they don't know Jack, let's be real clear, Lauren. They don't know Jack about HBCUs. They don't. Yeah. Even the black people on mainstream television, they don't. Yeah, the but really also. He's right. Roland Martin is 100% right. Let's just keep it real. You know he's telling the truth about what he is saying, what he is breaking down. A lot of folks don't know.